Hello and welcome to Industry News Live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid and these are the headlines. Chairman of Afghanistan's High Council for National Reconciliation, Abdullah Abdullah says he agrees with the Taliban that there should be no foreigners in the room during intra-Afghan negotiations. However, he said foreigners' assistance would possibly be needed at a later stage. At a press conference in Doha, Abdullah said he is sure both sides will discuss ceasefire in negotiations, proposing reduction in violence initially. Pakistan has summoned a senior Indian diplomat to lodge a strong protest over the latest ceasefire violations along the line of control. The foreign office says an 11-year-old girl was martyred and four other civilians wounded in unprovoked Indian firing. Earlier, the Pakistani military's media wing said Indian forces targeted civilian population with heavy mortars in Hot Spring and Rakchikri sectors, which was responded effectively. China has slammed a U.S. report accusing Beijing of expansionist military ambitions. In a statement, China's defense ministry spokesperson said Washington itself poses the biggest threat to global peace. He called the U.S. Defense Department's report a malicious distortion of facts. In India, the number of coronavirus cases has topped 4.7 million, with over 94,000 infections and 1,114 deaths overnight. In Pakistan, six people lost their lives to the virus overnight, taking the tally to 6,379, with over 301,000 infections. Globally, the virus has claimed over 920,000 lives and infected more than 28.7 million people so far. That's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media. That's Interstock News Sticker.